Because my cell phone says it's 10.30. I watched it at 10.29. I don't know. Wait for the 30 seconds. Uh, but uh, given the confusion, I think I'd like to go ahead and start sort of on the dot here. So the uh, meeting will be in order. This is the uh, World Science Fiction Society business meeting at the 2012 World Science Fiction Convention. Uh, people have presumably got papers on their way in. Uh, <clears throat> uh, there's uh, the agenda, there's a uh, correction page, and there's a uh, Worldcon report that's on a separate sheet. Uh, people should be aware there's ribbons up here to indicate you attended the business meeting. You're welcome to go up and get one. Uh, they're not different for the different days, so just you know, get one. That should do you. So uh, the uh, podium staff on my left is Linda Deneroff, who will be the secretary for the business meeting. I'm uh, Donald Eastlake, and I'm the UN officer. Yay. And to my right is uh, Tim Miller, who will be our timekeeper. Sucks. <laughs> Thanks for Josh Hamilton again. <laughs> and thank you for asking both uh, So the uh, meeting is uh, being recorded. And anybody who wishes to, uh, until we, unless we vote uh, to stop recording, uh, is welcome to record uh, visually or, uh, or you know, acoustically or whatever. Um, I'd like to. Uh, make a couple quick uh, corrections here. Uh, the Constitution as, uh, yeah, sorry, I did have to be very close to these mics, which is, decreases the noise, but it means you have to be very close to be heard. Um, the, uh, in the Constitution, part of in the uh, program, in section uh, 3.11, 3.11.1, uh, the initial reference to 6.3 should be a reference to 6.4, I believe. People are welcome to check me on that. Uh, however, the later reference to 6.5 in that section is correct. Okay. That's, uh, Section uh, 4.8.1, there are two occurrences of the character at sign, where I believe there should be a uh, apostrophe. Tomorrow is, we have to, however, have a hard close at, 11, at the noon today. 
Uh, tomorrow we will schedule to start at 10:30, and we have uh, extra time afterwards, so we could run on and on. We could run on for a long time tomorrow. Uh, Sunday, uh, based on the consistency and so on and so forth, uh, I believe we need to start at 10:30 on Sunday because uh, it's just not going to get out. We would meet, meet at the same time, the same place, uh, first for two days in a row. It just won't get through to people. So. Uh, that's my opinion as to when the meetings will start for the three days. Uh, so we can actually proceed to uh, some business here. So uh, I believe that uh, in the agenda, the order we should uh, process things is uh, section three on business carried forward, uh, uh, section four, which is new business, then uh, one, and then two. So I'd like to do things in that order uh, unless there's some objection. I believe that handling the business fast forward is our highest priority. Handling new business is uh, important. And then we should do the reports. Reports could be always be accepted in a later session without any particular harm, in my opinion. So seeing no objection, that's how we will handle things. So going to section uh, three, we have two items of business passed on from renovation. And uh, Really what we need to do today is set the debate time limits for the main business meeting. Uh, the first is a best fan cast. And uh, uh, that's a suggestion I would set the debate time limit for that to six minutes. Yes. Uh, what would you like? Uh, 20 minutes. 20 minutes, it's been suggested. Um, are, there any other, are there any others? Yes? That's just 10. Okay, uh, is there any objection to making the blank? Uh, hearing no objection, so we have six, 10 and 20. Are there other values? Must be a positive whole integer number of minutes. <laughs> so, so in this next rule? Yes. Okay, so we have six, 10, 15, and 20. Um, okay, so uh, any other items? So what we'll do is we'll vote on these successively and the first to achieve a majority will be the debate time limit. And uh, we will start at the uh, longest. So all those in favor of 20 minutes, please raise your hands. Uh, all those opposed? Uh, thanks, the motion for 20 minute, minutes fails. All those in favor of 15 minutes, please raise your hands. Thank you, all those opposed? 15 minutes fails. All those in favor of 10 minutes, please raise your hands. Thank you, all those opposed? Thank you. Uh, 10 minutes is a majority, so the debate time limit for best fan cast for the main business meeting will be 10 minutes. Of course, the, the, the assembly can choose to uh, reduce or extend the limits of debate uh, when the time comes for that debate. Next item is to set the debate time limit for semi prosine. Uh, I would set that at 20 minutes. No. Unless somebody wants some other value, in which case we can just decide. Yes? Okay, any other values? Okay, so it's 20 minutes and it's been moved to, to is there a second for that? Wow. They do it by blank. So it's moved to, well, it's only one other value. It's 20 and been moved and then seconded to uh, strike out 20 and insert, to make a 10 instead of 20. Um, is there any debate? Okay. Uh, all those in favor of changing it from 20 to 10. Please raise your hand. Let's say if you're in favor of 10, please raise your hand. Thank you. Uh, all those opposed? Uh, I believe the ayes have it. It's very close. Uh, so, hearing no objection, the ayes have it, and uh, the debate time limit is set at 10 minutes. Uh, new business. We have ratification of the graphic story Hugo. Um, so I believe this should be considered at the main business meeting, um, although it's a proviso ratification. And I would set the time limit on this at four minutes. See no objection. The main time limit for I 4.1 of the main business meeting is set at four minutes. Uh, new constitutional amendments, 4.2.1. Uh, 
short title, the Hugo Category Young Adult Fiction. I would uh, set the debate limit at 20 minutes. Is there any objection to that or other value? Yes? Five. Five, okay. Is there any other values? Ten. Okay. We have five, ten, and twenty. Yes? Fifteen. Fifteen. Okay. <laughs> okay, so we have 5, 10, 15, and 20. I'll handle this as a blank unless there's some objection to that procedure. Seeing none, we'll vote on each of these uh, from the largest downwards. The first one to achieve a majority will be the debate time limit. Those in favor of a 20-minute uh, debate time limit, please raise your hand. Thank you. Those opposed? I believe the nays have it. Uh, those in favor of 15 minutes, please raise your hand. <coughs> Thank you. Those opposed? The ayes have it. Uh, the debate time limit is 15 minutes. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I'm going to get this piece of paper out of here, though. I have an amendment, a technical amendment. Okay. Mr. Chairman, not addressing the substance of the motion on the floor, uh, but addressing the provision adopted to it, I move a technical amendment. The uh, text is already with the Secretary. To change the sunset clause of this amendment to require positive re-ratification and to extend the trial period by striking out the existing, existing provision, the words that begin with provided that, and inserting a new one as follows. Provided that, unless this amendment is re-ratified by the 2017 business meeting, section 3.3.x shall be repealed and provided that the question of re-ratification shall automatically be placed on the agenda of the 2017 business meeting with any constitutional amendments awaiting ratification. Is there a second? Second. second. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I believe that although it's been somewhat difficult to come up with any general wording to our cons, I'm, I'm using my debate time as this to make the motion. Mr. Chairman, I, I, although we've had some difficulty coming up with any generic wording as a to the Constitution to require trial periods for any human <coughs> changes, in general, I believe that trial periods for most changes are a good thing, and I have come to the conclusion, personally, watching the various kinds of sunset clauses we have tried, uh, that we should require them to be sunset clauses. That is, if we don't take specific action, the items go back to where they were, rather than making it simple to change it back, because I don't think that's the best way to do it. So I think we should uh, take positive action on these, and I actually intend to propose similar sunset clauses on any significant changes to the Hugo Award categories. Thank you. Is there a speech against? Seeing none, we'll proceed to vote on the amendment. All is in. Actually, is there any objection to this change? Um, yeah. Question, Kevin. Why 2017 and the only, why 2017 at the year? If by month. Mr. Chairman, I, uh, like the previous category that we are voting on for re-ratification today, I don't believe these can work properly without about a four-year period of time to work them out. I don't think you can figure out what's going on until after only two years, which is what we would have ended up with. I think four is about the right amount of time to, to get an idea. Yes. In simple English, what is the difference between the two? Uh, in simple English, the differences are that uh, the uh, current wording would cause it to remain in the Constitution unless it was specifically uh, canceled by a vote at that bus at a business meeting. And this one would have it automatically be removed unless the business meeting votes to retain it. And also, this one gives more time before this uh, checkpoint occurs. Thank and you. it mandates that a vote be held. It does. Well, it mandates to be on the agenda. Thank you. I don't, know if we can, I don't think you can quite mandate a vote, but um, are there any other inquiries or comments? Uh, yes. Uh, 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 will you use a microphone? Uh, if you can't come in, I don't know. Or yell really loudly or something. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Chairman, I'll vote right here. Personal Mr. Chairman, as the proposal of the amendment, I have no objection to Mr. Stanley's proposal. Great. Does anybody, thank you. Does anybody else have an objection? Okay. Seeing none, the, the proviso was changed as suggested in the proposed amendment. 
or the amendment is adopted, whichever way you feel like looking at it. Okay, resolutions. Well done. 4.3. Um, short title, E3 is not allowed. So. Wait. Uh, uh, inquiry. Sorry, go ahead. Yes. Uh, at the 2017 Worldcon, if it is held off continent, would that be an impediment to the. No. Any vote? No. Right. No. Any impediment no. to what? Would, would it be an impediment to what? To. Uh, the chances of it being renewed or that not. That seems like a wonderful political question that I declined to comment on. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. And I got the laugh. Right? Item uh, 4.3, uh, short title even B is not allowed. Mr. So there's a, a, it's part of the rules that uh, frivolous motions are not allowed. So there's Mr. a question perhaps as to whether this is, is frivolous or not. So the, the chair is endowed on this matter and submits the question to the assembly. So this Mr. is a debatable chair, question. I object to the consideration. Uh, the, the motion is not before the assembly because the assembly is currently debating whether or not the motion is in order is frivolous or not. <laughs> so uh, does anybody wish to make a, uh, the chair declines to speak on this, does anybody wish to speak on whether the question of whether this motion is in order or not is frivolous? Uh, yeah? Question. Uh, it's a resolution which whether frivolous or not is reversing a previously made resolution? Or am I uh, I don't believe it, the, uh, it is not a previous resolution by this body. Put to, put to oh. motion. Yeah. Uh, is, is it reintroducing a previously failed motion? Okay. Um, but uh, anyway, so does anybody wish to speak on this question? Of whether this motion is in order or is frivolous? Yeah. May I speak as one of the members? Absolutely. Anybody can. Any, you're a member of the World Science Fiction Society, you're welcome to speak. <laughs> Even you. <laughs> Your name? <laughs> I had Don't make this me morning. come and hurt you. <laughs> My name is Deb Geisler. I'm one of the makers of this motion. I believe the motion is not frivolous because I believe that what it does is ensure that this body is concerned with fairness. It was not fair. Not fair. Of Mr. <laughs> Fletcher and Pratt. And <laughs> Fletcher Pratt and El Sprague de Camp to repeat simple slander, and slander about which they had no direct knowledge. <laughs> and it is important, I think, for this body to worry about fairness and care about fairness. State your point of order, I believe that Dr. Geisler is addressing the merits of the motion. <laughs> Mr. Yallo has never been known for frivolity. <laughs> so it is, it is our concern, uh, the concern of Studley, the organization which is proposing this motion, that we as a body um, are, are, are about fairness and about doing the right thing. And how can those things ever be frivolous? Okay, anybody wish to speak uh, in favor of the position that this is a frivolous motion? <laughs> Mike Lowry, I'm a historian. I love time binding. I love this long family tradition we've got here, but uh, with all due respect to humor and silliness, this is a frivolous motion and, and we're kidding ourselves. You know, we either need to repeal the clause that says no frivolous motions or rely into ourselves much as I hate to say it, and much as I love some of the people making the motion, and much as I stand for social justice. <laughs> okay, a bit of speech on either side. Does anybody else wish to speak to this question? Uh, yeah? Okay, be, no. People who wish to speak, by the way, should uh, stand. My name is Priscilla Olson, and um, I think it's essential that the full business meeting look at this motion to keep it out of the hands of the nitpicking committee. <laughs> <laughs> While under normal circuit, oh, name is Ben Yellow. 
while under normal circumstances, I would tend to feel that this motion is frivolous. In this particular case, I also tremendously value precedent within our society. Since there had been a prior debate on this motion, it is clear that the precedents of our society are that this motion should be in order, and therefore, simply based on that precedent, without destroying the precedent, without destroying the rules against frivolous motion, I believe that we should determine that this particular motion, based on precedent, is not frivolous. I have to agree that the, uh, our standing rules provide that the traditions of Lisbeth are more authoritative than Robert's rules in our proceedings. So, uh, uh, yes, you go uh, speak. I, I query. Yeah, well. Andrew Adams, I, I query to the chair. When was the, uh, um, um, uh, when was the, um, um, constitutional uh, business about uh, no frivolous motions entered into the Constitution. Well, that's in the, it's in Robert's Rules of Order, which is referenced by the Standing Rules, which is referenced by the Constitution. So, uh, and those, those rules will have always been in, in, uh, in effect for this meeting? Well, no, I'm not wondering really. is whether the, those rules were in effect at the 1941 meeting. Uh, it seems unplausible, but who knows. <laughs> I wasn't there, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Could, could, the, could the previous hold speaker, it, it, the previous speaker, indicate their name for the record? I didn't get Andrew it. Adams. So, Adams. Andrew Adams. 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 Okay. So uh, I suspect that we're ready to go ahead and vote on whether this motion is in order. Uh, seeing nobody else wishing to claim the floor, uh, all those uh, who believe this motion is in order, please raise your hand. Thank you. All those who believe that the motion is not in order. Thank you. The eyes have it, and the judgment of the assembly is that the motion is in order. So, having determined that the motion is in order, the chair would like to object to consideration of the motion. <laughs> Thank you, those opposed? 
Uh, the nays have it, 15 minutes is eliminated. Those in favor of 12 minute debate time, please raise your hand. Thank you, those opposed? The nays have it, and polls eliminated. Those in favor of five minutes? Uh, thank you, those opposed? I believe the nays have it. Uh, those, any objection to that? And those in favor of four minutes, raise your hand. Thank you, those opposed? Okay, the uh, ayes have it, so the debate time is set at four minutes. Um, would uh, the makers like to make a vote speech in favor? Yes, we have four minutes. Well, we can, we can do this at the preliminary business meeting. Yeah, it's a resolution. If somebody wants it, just want it until tomorrow we can, but we might. No, no, no. Okay, people seem to. Let's get the paint over again, thank you. I would personally like to take care of this today, so I'm going <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in 1941, Milton Rothman came before this body and asked for fairness. He asked for us to consider AV and consider AV's reputation and realize that it was on the basis of uh, the most egregious hearsay information that our community believed that AV was a louse. Uh, I'm here to tell you that the rules of evidence have changed. And our understanding of what is fair has changed. And so it's important for us, not just for Envy, because it may be too late for Envy, but for our body and for the World Science Fiction Society as a whole, that we approach this with the seriousness which it deserves. <laughs> <laughs> and, I, and I hope that you all will at the very least, see me afterwards for a sticker or a bookmark. <laughs> uh, speech against? I am terrified. Not your name. Right. I'm sorry, John Pomeroy. <laughs> Presented by this effort to scrub clean the important warning provided to us by Messrs. DeCamp and Pratt. Indeed, Yingvi is a louse. This warning has been handed down to us in, in the founding document, one of the founding documents of fandom. And here, this, this, this new secret effort to try and scrub clean this so-called studly organization <laughs> trying to change Venice history and hide the louses hiding in our midst. I have in my hand a list. Of louses in Smothdom. They have been hiding in our midst. Sometimes they may be from Baltimore where they may call themselves crabs. <laughs> but no, these are the louses that are trying to infest us. <laughs> I urge you not to support this so-called studly organization and uphold the fine founding traditions of fandom which knows in its heart of hearts that Yingbi is a loss. <laughs> uh, is there another speech in favor of the motion? <laughs> Seeing none, any other speech against? No. Uh, Parliamentary <laughs> inquiry, how much time? Uh, time against, not much. Uh, I hope time I four, we've got a minute and three seconds. <laughs> <laughs> time against, we've got 24 seconds. Thank 24 seconds, left against. Okay. David Schaffoss, I would like to propose an amendment to this uh, so that it inserts the not maintained to is not known to be a louse. <laughs> both, both occurrences of, of the phrase in is not a louse. Uh, is there a second? Second. Second. Uh, to move to the second, the change is not a louse to is not known to be a louse. That's two occurrences <laughs> of that phrase. Um, you wish to speak in favor of this? Um, I think it's stands for itself. Okay, is there any speech against? Can I get your name? Uh, David Schaffer. I want to spell it. Seeing, uh, yeah, do you want to speak against? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, bring it. <laughs> people, people.
people, people. I it, is, it is sad enough that we have been, that, that we have, have tarred Ingby with the brush of lousitude for this long, and now you want to merely waffle and say, well, maybe he wasn't quite a louse. I don't think that's enough. I think we need to take a firm stand. So I consider this an adversarial attempt to change the motion. Thank you. Okay, any other further speeches or yes on the amendment? <laughs> consideration that all such motions should be given by this body and that was why I made that was why I seconded and why I urge that the committee be established to report tomorrow uh, on the issue. Thank you. Uh, we are out of time for this uh, motion. <laughs> so uh, we will proceed to vote uh, first on the motion. To Can I get the name of the maker of the motion? Lisa Paddle. I'll bring my badge. Okay, thank you. So we will vote on the motion to refer to committee. If that fails, we will then vote on the amendment and uh, then the main motion. So uh, all those in favor of referring to committee, please raise your hand. Thank you. All those opposed? Thanks. The nays have it. So the motion to refer to committee fails. Uh, there is currently on the floor, next, next uh, pending question is the amendment to change Yingbi is not a louse. Yingbi is not known to be a louse for the two occurrences thereof. Those in favor of that amendment, please raise your hand. Thank you. Those opposed? Thank you. The nays have it, and the amendment fails. Uh, we'll now revert to the main question, which is on the adoption of this resolution. Uh, short title, Yingbi is not a loss. All those in favor of adopting the resolution, please raise your hand. Thank you. All those opposed? It looks to me like the nays have it. Yeah. Anybody want to comment? Division. Okay. Uh, a request for a counter vote. We haven't had a serpentine vote yet. It might as well be <laughs> there. To, uh, to get people some exercise. Blood is flowing and not yet. Quite discouraging this one. So, uh, all those in favor of this resolution, please stand. So, for those not familiar with serpentine vote, we count off and, and people sit down after they count. So, we'll start there. One, two, three, 17. <laughs>
Two questions, Kevin. Where is the, you know, where is the money kept? Is it kept in here in the U.S. or is it kept, you know, where is it? And who actually can sign it or is, you know, who actually authorizes you know, payment of, of any payments necessary? Uh, Mr. Chairman, the question, uh, since it probably didn't come in, it probably won't get picked up there. The the question is, where is the Mark Committee's money kept, and who is responsible for keeping track of it, and who can authorize spending it? The MPC's bank account is in the United States. I actually don't remember the specific bank. Uh, Scott Dennis is the treasurer of the Mark Protection Committee, and he has the signature authority on that, and writes checks uh, when we get bills sent to us, and checks with whoever the chairman is at the time. We, you know, we elect officers at the Mark Committee meeting that happens at the end of the, or after the final business meeting. And so, you know, if we have a different treasurer, that'll be the person responsible for it. But the funds from OSSECON were uh, wired to us, to our U.S. bank account. It's a typical of us to not ask for money from non-U.S. world cons unless we really need it and have those conventions keep any of their money out in their bank accounts rather than incur currency exchanges. But since A4 is dissolving, there's no entity to hold on to it, so they decided to just give it to us. Was that, did that answer your question? Yeah. Right. Any other questions, Mr. Chairman? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I, uh, Ms. Sullivan? Yes. Yeah. Um, Jerry Sullivan, um, what's the hit by a bus clause on that? Who else? If, if Scott gets hit by a bus, what happens to access to the money? Um, at the moment, I don't know, and that is actually one of the things that we're planning on trying to address and get cleaned up this year. There's a lot of areas that have not been adequately backed up, as we've shown. The Hugo Awards website has multiple people with the keys to those controls, but the other, some of the other things that we've been managing do not really, and we're going to get that. But we're going to do a better job of that in the future. Thank you. Uh, I might just mention that the account is in the name of World Science Fiction Society, not as far as personal name. That's right. It's, yeah. it's, it's in the name of the society, so presumably if it really did, it, it, and, and it, that's actually not a trivial question, because as I think you all know, or many of you know, Scott was involved in a very serious uh, vehicle accident last year. Had it been necessary to do so, I would have approached that bank and tried to explain to them who I was and where my authority lied and said, can we fix this, please? Uh, I hope we don't have to. I'm glad we did. I, I'm sure we're all glad that I didn't have to go to that emergency for all sorts of reasons. Uh, yes? I see one behind you. Could you knock on it? <laughs> Done. Anything else? Thank you. So I think this would be an appropriate time for uh, not to take <laughs> nominations for the Mark Protection Committee. Uh, I just want to explain what, what yeah, we want to... Uh, so there are three people whose elected terms are expiring. Uh, Stephen Boucher, Scott Dennis, uh, our treasurer, and myself. Um, so, um, uh, it's got, Steve Osher was elected for a short one year term because the uh, Roots actor who had held that <coughs> slot uh, resigned. There are nine elected members on three year staggered terms. But, uh, uh, so, um, uh, four is open for nominations. Uh, Mark Olson, I renominate the uh, term of three members whose terms are now expiring. Second. 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 In general, nominations don't need to be seconded. Uh, so that's good. Are there any other nominations for these positions? Okay. Uh, people who are nominated uh, need to sign a consent to being nominated and <laughs> an indication of their region of residence because they're, if they, well, region of residence, because there are restrictions on uh, how many elected members can reside in regions of North America. So. Uh, People who are nominated should do that. Uh, the secretary gets to set the deadline for when these forms have to be completed and turned in. Uh, so <coughs> okay, so the secretary believes 6 p.m. today is a reasonable deadline for the return of these forms. Um, it is possible to write in uh, people for election in which case they need to complete this form before the ballots are collected. Uh, and the vote will be tomorrow at the main business meeting. Okay. <coughs> next, we, uh, next we have Worldcom reports. Let's see, we have uh, 47 minutes left. Um, the, uh, mm -hmm. No, wait, uh, you the, the rest of page two. Look to page two. 
Oh, sorry. Uh, okay, yes, I'm here. Thank you. Um, the nitpicking and vice picking committee. Uh, Mr. Stanley would like to give a new report or